Hello everyone and welcome to 10 things dogs are scared of the most. Like people, dogs can experience a variety of phobias and fears. Dog phobias and fears can be caused by a variety of different factors. While certain anxieties may be present at birth in dogs, the majority are learned when puppies interact with their environment. If the dog is not socialized with humans and other dogs when still a young puppy, it frequently happens that the dog will acquire phobias. If we combine it with a bad experience, your pet is likely to develop a lifelong phobia of things like loud noises, specific objects in the environment, other animals, and even people. Signs that may indicate that a dog is suffering from a specific phobia are trembling, hiding, drooling, squealing, barking, aggressiveness, destructive behavior. Here are the 10 phobias and fears that are more common with dogs. Number 10. Fear of objects. Certain things, including vacuum cleaners, hair dryers, brooms, and even toys, cause dread in some dogs. The list continues. Since we can relocate these items out of the dog's line of sight or confine the dog to another room while we use them, the answer is not very challenging. However, things become problematic if the animal displays fear of something say, a statue you must pass by on your walks and won't approach it. In such circumstances, the only option is to gradually acclimate the dog to the cause of the phobia. Once more, this is a desensitization technique for which you do not require expert assistance. Phobias and fears aren't just for people. Due to their limited communication, treating these diseases in dogs is significantly more difficult. Owners must be very persistent and patient, as well as consult with professionals. In the end, it's all worthwhile because good pet ownership include taking good care of your pet's mental as well as physical health. Number 9. Fear of Children some dog breeds dislike kids, and other canines may grow afraid of kids for a variety of reasons. The first is not being exposed to children when they are young. Additionally, kids treat animals differently. They frequently grasp the animal by the tail or yank its ears or fur. Not all dogs, especially those who haven't been taught to do it, will put up with it. In essence, the dog is not trying to hurt the youngster but fear can induce it to respond aggressively. Owners of dogs who notice their puppies are afraid of kids should speak with a canine behaviorist. Number 8. Fear of strangers. The fear of individuals and the fear of strangers are extremely similar. The dog is just afraid of strangers, which is the sole difference. Forced acceptance of a stranger by a fearful dog can quickly escalate into an aggressive situation. Number 7. Fear of people. The fact that a dog, a man's closest friend, is fearful of people may surprise many. This isn't that unusual. Inadequate early socialization or, of course, abuse are to blame for this anxiety. There are solutions to this issue, some of them involve providing the animal with a sense of security and using positive reinforcement. Make an appointment with your veterinarian or an expert in animal behavior if the fear is too intense to treat. Number 6. Fear of stairs. Until their dog starts refusing to use the stairs, many people are unaware that their dog is terrified of them. This is also rather typical, thus these dogs should be handled gently and not made to utilize the stairs. The right approach to train a dog to use stairs exists. Another great solution to this problem is a game in which the owner takes part. Literally step-by-step -step learning is required for the dog to feel comfortable using the stairs. Number 5. Fear of Abandonment Fear of abandonment is often referred to as separation anxiety. When dogs are left alone inside the house, this typically happens. Typically, these dogs may destroy objects and chew on furniture in addition to barking, screaming, and squealing frantically. Dogs must be given the necessary time and tolerance to overcome this anxiety. Changes must be made to the length of time you spend away from home and when the dog is left alone. Longer walks are also advised so that the dog will become exhausted and nod off before you depart. Additionally, make sure the dog has access to any favorite toys or the area that it usually shares with you and your dog. Number 4. Fear of Car Rides Despite the fact that most dogs enjoy traveling in cars, this phobia is prevalent. Most frequently, it is connected to an unpleasant previous car riding experience. It's likely that the dog will decide he no longer wants to ride in a car if he experiences motion sickness and nausea while driving. 
Fear is even more likely to arise and is more reasonable if the voyage ends with a trip to the vet or being abandoned at a shelter. Shorter, more frequent automobile excursions can help dogs overcome their dread of cars, which will ultimately make them happy. It will ultimately cease associating car excursions with unpleasant feelings if you take your dog to a new location for a walk or to visit a buddy that it adores. Number 3. Fear of going to the vet. There is hardly a dog who is not afraid of going to the vet. This is mainly related to the first experience associated with the veterinary clinic. There are unusual smells, being touched and held by unknown people during an examination, getting a vaccine, and so on. Dogs remember the space in which they had an unpleasant experience. In order to prevent this fear from even developing or reduce the level of anxiety connected with going to the vet, more frequent, sudden visits to the veterinary clinic are recommended. These visits will not include examinations or interventions. It will simply be a social visit where the dog and the owner will feel relaxed and can socialize with a vet. Number 2. Fear of firecrackers. Due to their loud sound, pyrotechnics and firecrackers can also make dogs fearful. This is hardly surprising considering how much better hearing dogs have than humans. It is not unexpected that dogs soon develop a dread of bangs and bursts when we consider the light effects that go along with them. Desensitizing our pets is a technique that might lessen this fear. Number 1. Fear of Thunder. Astrophobia is the scientific name for this particular phobia. Although it occurs to varying degrees in dogs, it may be argued that no dog is oblivious to this atmospheric phenomenon. Some animals just shiver, droop their ears, and tuck their tails under their bodies when they are afraid of thunder. Other dogs who are more scared feel the urge to hide in a certain area of the house where they feel the safest, frequently acting destructively in these attempts to help them feel better. Many dogs develop involuntary urination and feces habits. There are ways to distract your dog from a thunderstorm. This can entail using organic medicines to calm the animal or behavioral training. That's all 10 facts about things dogs are scared of the most. Make sure to check the description below for more information. See you next time.